Good afternoon fellow reefers, this is Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Today's video is the last video that I'll be doing for now when it comes to the testing, which as I mentioned on the previous video, this will be the alkalinity test. What I'm leaving behind, as I mentioned before, would be the nitrate and the ammonia. That I'll do it at a later time, but for now, the most crucial tests that you should do when it comes to reef keeping are the ones that I've been bringing up. And this is the last of the series that I've been doing, which is the alkalinity. So here it is by Sally Fur, and let's open it up and see what it contains inside. Okay, of course, here we have the instructions. And then we have the KH. This is a uh, calibrator, we really don't, don't use it. And then you have the KHIND, and of course, the 5 ml syringe. And then you have the 1 ml syringe. And I'm going to go ahead and add the adapter right now as we speak. Okay, and then of course, this is the vial. Okay, so first step it says add with the 5 ml syringe 4 ml of water to the vial. To the vial. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, here we are. Okay, let's push this aside. And then instruction number two, it says, shake the KHIND, which is this little bottle, uh, a few uh, times and add four drops. Okay, here we go. Oops. One, two, three. Then three assist to put the plastic tip on the one ml uh, syringe, and you're gonna extract one ml uh, of the KH solution. So let's go ahead and do that. There we are. And of course, it's going to say to add uh, uh, drop wise about like 80% uh, of the amount of the liquid. And then you have to go slow. And then from this color that you see, like a bluish color, it will actually uh, convert to like a red pinkish color. Okay, let's start doing that. Of course, as you notice, every time you put the drops, you do a little swirl. I'm putting, let's say, three drops. Okay. There we have it. One more drop. I always put one more drop to make sure that it did change. So as you notice here, it did change like to a reddish pinkish color. So what are we going to do? The same thing. We're, we're going to look at the top of the 1 ml syringe, look at what the values are, and then we're going to compare it to the chart. So here we have, I would say we have 4.7 around there, 0 0.04.7, we're going to look it up. It's got 8, 6, eh, between 6 and 8. Okay, let's see what on 0 4.6 it's got a kh value of 8.3 with alkalinity of uh, 2.9 okay so we're going to go down like on the other test kits as, as you noticed that on the bottom is it has um the values and then it says natural sea water has a kh value of 7 to 8 or 2.5 to 2.9 Okay, so we are in target with alkalinity. And then, like I've mentioned before, briefly, I always say a little, uh, you know, I add a little note when it comes to the test kits, um, the variations of the parameters of the values. When it comes to alkalinity, to be honest with you, 
there's not much to really say about it. Uh, basically, that uh, if you test for pH and your pH is within your range, there's a 99.9% .9 of your alkalinity value will also be within range. Another uh, factor, uh, if you first check your calcium and your calcium is within that range, that alone will constitute that your magnesium and your alkalinity are also uh, going to be in range. So that's a, a good point to remember and to know. Check your calcium first. If you check your calcium, then that'll give you a broad range of how your magnesium is going to check out and your alkalinity. Although you just you just you should check them all. But this is a, a basic notion. So that's basically what I wanted to bring up today. Like I always say, thank you for watching this video. And if you found it interesting or educational, enjoyable, uh, don't hesitate to hit the like button or make a comment on this video or subscribe to my channel. And like I always say at the end of the video, happy reefing. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.